How much has someone used? When did they last use? How often are they using? These are some of the questions that we frequently answer. People often ask questions about the ability to determine when someone last used, how much they have used, and how frequently they've used certain substances. No matter how the questions are phrased, we can only say when testing a reservoir matrix, the reported quantitation of a drug or its metabolite cannot be used to determine when or if a specific substance was used, how much of a substance was used, or how often a substance was used. We define a reservoir matrix as a material which can accumulate and retain drug and alcohol biomarkers such as urine, hair, nail, umbilical cord, or meconium. When a person uses drugs or alcohol, there is an ongoing process of biomarker absorption and elimination. The buildup and breakdown of drug and alcohol biomarkers happens at the same time, making it impossible to accurately determine the amount of substance ingested. Factors that can affect how much of a substance may get trapped in a reservoir matrix include age, body mass, overall health, personal metabolism, hygiene, cosmetic treatment, time, frequency, and amount of use. Attempting to determine the amount, manner, or timing of the substance ingested from the test results is speculative at best. Care should be taken to avoid these interpretations. Test results show only if a substance was detected or not detected. To put this answer more simply, we say, the test cannot be used to determine time dose, or frequency of use. A specimen's window of detection provides an estimated time frame for detecting substances of abuse. Based on extensive research studies, the generally accepted windows of detection for specimens used in our testing are as follows. Urine, up to approximately two to three days prior to collection. Peth in blood, up to approximately two to four weeks prior to collection. Scalp hair, up to approximately three months prior to collection. Fingernail, up to approximately three to six months prior to collection. Umbilical cord and meconium, up to approximately 20 weeks prior to birth. Interpretation of drug testing results may be determined by a medical review officer. An MRO is a licensed physician who has knowledge of substance use disorders and has appropriate medical training to interpret and evaluate an individual's positive test result together with his or her medical history and any other relevant biomedical information. This is an incredibly important aspect of drug testing. A laboratory can detect substances, but an MRO may be used to interpret what that detection means. Like any specimen drug testing, a negative result is not proof of abstinence, merely a lack of evidence. United States Drug Testing Laboratories is the pioneer of substance use toxicology. We know that recovery needs real data. We are here to answer your questions and help you choose the right testing to reach your organization's best outcomes. To learn more, please contact us at 800-235-2367 or visit us online at usdtl.com. Subscribe to our channel and visit our website for more information.